All right, it's time to go bailing. There's a reason I don't bother checking the oil in this thing that often. It doesn't get dirty and it doesn't burn anything. Like, it'll still look like that when I go to change it next spring. It this it just this engine's good and tight. It just doesn't make it doesn't get dirty oil. But we're gonna use a 16 again just because I like having a wide front over at Shelly's mom's. Um, those hills over there with the 1800. I mean, you can do it. It's just really, it's a little, it gives you a spooky feeling. up to the baler everything was greased yesterday so that's good to go i should have enough twine to get started or to get that four acres done anyhow and then if need be i can grab more on the way back uh, should have everything i need so let's roll
done. I couldn't do the, the introduction because the people that I'm bailing for showed up. Right as I was setting the baler up, start picking up bales, so I wasn't going to do that in front of them, but where are we at anyhow? One forty-two on the counter. I threw two out at the beginning and rebailed them while I was getting the bale tension set and fell in the chamber. I had one missed tie and one broken bale. So one thirty-eight. One thirty-seven because I'm not going to dig that one out of the chamber because I don't want to go through the setup all over again. So. About 138. Oh, that stuff just not. There ain't nothing gonna eat that. It's it doesn't even feel nice to touch. It's just that's gonna scratch the hell out of anything's mouth that tries to chew on it. About the only thing I could think of that wouldn't mind eating it's a goat. Oh, that's terrible. But I just get paid to do it. It's not my hay. It will be once we get this field straightened out. I got a soil test off of it, but and I was hoping to have it for this video so we could talk about it real quick, but uh, the lab screwed up and didn't send the results back correctly. So uh, we'll have those back sometime next week, hopefully. But anyway, I'm gonna get folded up here. Um, there was a, apparently all you got to do to get work with a square baler is drive down the road there was a guy that pulled in the field right behind me he was raking hay down the road a ways and he's going to round bale everything but he his brother needs 50 square bales so he asked me if i wanted to swing by and do 50 bales for him so i got time i think i'm gonna go ahead and do that since it's right on the way and i got twine for it might as well money's money right so I'm going to get folded up here, we'll screw down down the road, get that done, and then go get my stuff. Well, I stopped by that other field on the way here, and there's a house there, and I stopped and knocked on the door and rang the doorbell and looked around and called for people, and there was cars there, but there wasn't anybody home. And you can't really do anything if you don't know how they want it done would have been easy except for there's two there was two different patches there one was a pasture that was a grass mix and then the other one was the actual hay field that had alfalfa in it so it's like, i don't know which side which which mix they want 50 bales off of so if there's nobody around to tell me what to do and they're not going to tell me what they want done then i guess there's nothing i can do about it so but now we're in this nice hay this is going to be this is going to be nice Oh yeah, that's going to be nice. Minus one, 43. 
So it's falling about in line with where Shelly's mom's did last year. Last year it did like 50 off, 50 an acre off the first cutting, about 20 an acre off the second cutting. So it's falling right in line, but man, is this some nice hay. I know I oogle over it a lot, but, and the guys that make hay will know what I'm talking about, but like making hay that looks like this is like the equivalent to making 300 bushel acre corn. This is just, this is just a really nice hay. And it makes a really nice square bale. So anyhow, I'll get folded up and on to the last one. Did not zero this, okay. 
gonna say, there ain't no way. Yeah, there's no way. And so 79, I had four missed ties. Um, this time around, it was my, probably partially my fault. Uh, these windrows were a little tough and I didn't realize I was making bricks. So I backed the tension off a little bit. Um, but yeah. So that would be 32 off of this one. So 32 off of an acre, 44 off of two acres. I guess that's the difference between a year old and two years old. So anyhow, get my chamber cleaned out here. Before I forget, we're going to go over and grab my lid. Took that off so that I could put the camera there on the knotters. That left one still, it's still the left one. It doesn't make a lick of sense. The only thing I was thinking of but it still wouldn't explain why it was only one knot or not on both is i wonder if that twine's getting damp sitting down there in the basement of that barn sitting in the can on the back of that thing and i wonder if that's causing a possible problem because damp twine will do goofy things But unfortunately, I don't have a way to test it with dry twine because I keep all my twine down there in the basement of the barn on a shelf. So the only way to test that theory would be to buy some brand new twine that hasn't been sitting in the basement of a bank barn, which in all honesty is probably not the best place to store twine. Anyhow, it was just convenient because that's where the baler is. But maybe I need to stop putting it down there. So anyhow, I'm going to get cleaned out, folded up, get the baler put away, then we got to go get the truck and trailer so that we can clean all this stuff up. Well, the damnedest thing just happened. The battery in this thing died all of a sudden. Um, got back to my house, shut it off, went to get a drink of water, and then blow the baler off. Start, tried, went to start it back up, back to baler in the barn. Click, 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 click. Not a damn thing. Threw the charger on it, and my charger's got a built-in voltmeter. 9.2 volts. I guess it's not a total surprise. I've noticed the last, I don't know, five six times i've used it and it might have even been before that it's i thought i was imagining it but it was acting like it was cranking slow well apparently i wasn't imagining it apparently it was cranking slow and now it's not cranking at all but i guess you can't knock it too hard because i don't i don't remember changing it since but i believe this battery's been in it since the narrow front was on it and that narrow front hasn't been on it in <sighs> at least eight years. I was, I think I was still in college when we put the narrow, when we put the wide front on it. Then it was in there before that. So yeah, the, I, I'll have to check the date on it because I don't remember changing it since, but I'm pretty sure. That should be, if I remember right, a Napa battery, and I don't think it's been changed since. So, I mean, it, it's got some years on it. It ain't like it's a brand new battery and it's up and croaked. So, I guess you can't knock it too hard. It's been a bad couple weeks for batteries. First the 1800, then this thing, but at least the battery in this one's cheap-er-ish. Nothing's cheap anymore, but you, know, you get the idea. Er. 
right there it all is that's both fields 70 what was that 72 79 minus 5 uh, right one over here four over there yeah so 70 74 um, off of three acres, second cutting, one field being not even a year old yet. I, for the quality of it, I'm not going to complain. Get it off of here just in time because I, I don't, I don't think the grounds. You know, I guess the grounds a little wet. The, the sides of the bales that were laying on the ground were starting to draw a little moisture. But other than that, it's dry. So, but anyhow. You ready to go, Lily? Come on. Come on, wiggle butt. You're all covered in chaff because she was riding on the trailer. Come on. So we're going to go get this put in the barn and call it a night. So that's it for this one. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Right, Lily?